What is the name of the river that separates Texas and Oklahoma that was named for the color of the sediments? Uh, the Red River. What country boasts both the highest and lowest points in South America? Uh, I believe that's Chile. Actor Slim Pickens wrote a bomb dropped from a B-52 in what film? Uh, pass. What prolific Frenchman wrote the novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Pass. What creature produces the most of the world's wool? I'm gonna go with sheep. Actor Slim Pickens wrote a bomb dropped from a B-52 in what film? I'm gonna go with, uh, oh gosh, um, uh, Memphis Bell. What prolific Frenchman wrote the novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Let's go with Shakespeare. <laughs> Time. Kenny, how'd you do? Uh, I think maybe two out of three, two or three. You know, One of the first problems is there three. are five of them, so yeah. that's not good thing it wasn't a math day. Hold on, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he meant. Yeah. Still, it's fun to be mean. It is. Our unique brand of casual meanness. Hot Wings, you ready? Yeah. All right. Well, mostly. <clears throat> yeah. Do you have no, your I thinking am. pen, your positioning? Your... You better believe it. Uh, all right. Hey, it's working. It is right now. Jackpot's at $1,100. Kenny's score has been recorded. Your turn begins in three, two, one. What is the name of the river that separates Texas and Oklahoma that was named for the color of the sediments? Pass. What country boasts both the highest and lowest points in South America? Say that again. What country boasts both the highest and lowest points in South America? Mm, Peru. Actor Slim Pickens wrote a bomb dropped from a B-52 in what film? Oh, um, 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 um. God, Jesus. A Dr. Strangelove. What prolific Frenchman wrote the novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Victor Hugo. What creature produces most of the world's wool? A uh, sheep. What is the name of the river that separates Texas and Oklahoma that That's was named the Red for River? The time. All right, Kenny. Yes. Let's see if you're getting paid. I'm good. What is the name of the river that separates Texas and Oklahoma that was named for the color of the sediments? Howling said pass and the Red River. Kenny said the Red River. It is the Red River, tied at one. What country boasts the highest and lowest points in South America? Hotwing said Peru. Kenny said Chile. The answer, Argentina. Oh. One to one. Actor Slim Pickens wrote a bomb dropped from a B-52 in what film? Hotwing said Dr. Strangelove. Kenny said, the, said Memphis Bell. It is Dr. Strangelove, two to one hot wings. What prolific Frenchman wrote the novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Notre Dame, I know. Having said Victor Hugo, Kenny said Shakespeare. He didn't really, his heart wasn't in it. He yeah. just needed to say a name. Yeah. The answer is Victor Hugo. Three to one. What creature produces most of the world's wool? Hot wings said sheep. Kenny said sheep. You're both right. Hot wings wins. Four to two. Sorry, Kenny. I'm just oh, no unstoppable. Worries, nice work. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks for playing. No problem. Thanks for All listening. Right, thanks, guys. All right, bud. Thank you.